surely one of the most remarkable animals that has ever existed and certainly one of the most famous is a dinosaur like Tyrannosaurus Rex. This creature is from the documentary series Prehistoric Planet. What kind of animal was it? How do they look like? And how do they coexist in our modern world? Well, scientific research and several theories has answered these questions all over the T-Rex or any other dinosaur, but other species of wildlife that live alongside it. With the latest green screen technology for visual effects, enables us to bring them all back to life in this series. Planet Tub, 66 million years later. The skies were ruled by flying reptiles and geostorm burglar. And in the seas, monstrous reptiles patrol the depths. And on land, dinosaurs of every kind making a struggle for our human survival. And now we know so much about the world and the war by the dinosaurs. And this is Dinosaurs in the Modern Day, the series. It's no secret that I love and growing up and growing up on dinosaurs. Here is some footage from my camcorder about these illustrations of these beautiful animals coming to life for my art. I've loved dinosaur films for as long as I can remember. Like the dinosaurs in Jurassic Park or Jurassic World Dominion or Walking with Dinosaurs. These creatures have me inspired on this channel and through art as well. These wonderful, beautiful prehistoric creatures has gone into my imagination for a very, very long time because I actually grew up watching, seeing the science behind these wonderful animals that were originally extinct 66 million years ago. But let's start this episode with different stories and the extinct the true extinction of the dinosaurs. Sixty six million years ago in Texas. Here we have a herd of a species of sauropod called a Lamosaurus. It was a huge dinosaur when it was alive, but something's wrong. It is the last day for these creatures. Before the asteroid strikes, let's see some other creatures as well. Here we have a different species of bird, which is the non, which is an avian dinosaur. And it's looking at some eggs of a big creature. And that is Struthio Mimas. As you can see, this group is carrying and incubating their eggs, similar to those of modern day birds. And let's travel to the Hell Creek Formation home to a variety of species like a Montosaurus anectans, Pachycephalosaurus 
and Triceratops Horridus, but it is home to the king of the dinosaurs. The other dinosaurs scurry and look at the queen of these beasts, and that is the Tyrannosaurus Rex. The other dinosaurs are concerned if they are going, going to be eaten by her. But she came down for a drink. And revealed her royalty to these animals. As you may notice, this T Rex is quite chunky to the Jurassic Park version, but the Amontosaurus is, says, okay. But she starts to walk away to her nest. The other dinosaurs relax. And the bird has found a worm. This T Rex has a nest with the dad. As you can see, the difference between male and female T Rex is that the female is larger than the male because you can see the difference between the keratin crests on top of their heads. Which is another sign for sexual dynamorphism. But the carnivores are concerned about something. The Cephalosaurus sends it too. So does the Amontosaurus. And the Struthiomimus. and the baby triceratops so practically all of the dinosaurs are looking at the sky until the light disappears an explosion occurs protecting their nests this is a This is a trap for planet Earth of fire, water, and its main offense, death. This must have been the extinction of the non-avian dinosaurs with a dead Amontosaurus. And the Struthiomimus group is dead as well. And all the way from Texas, a pair of Quetzalcoatlus is dead as well. But only one survivor remains, and that is the Alamosaurus. Volcanoes begin to erupt, and the rest of the survivors trying to survive this track. But some members of their family has died. The young Triceratops lost his mother, and the T Rex has lost a mate, and the most saddest part her kids. And she begins to cry in fear. And the Lamasaurus has stopped walking. I need to see his herd. In the most saddest 
part of their circle of life has ended, cleaning bones out of their bodies might have been scavenged by carnivores. With not that much vegetation around him to eat, he couldn't survive anymore. So his body and his life has ended his circle of life. So does the queen of the dinosaurs, which is the end the Mesozoic period, 66 million years ago, and this T-Rex has the beginning of the carcass from skin to bones, through, through some rocks, and after millions and millions of years, it turns into stone. Here are the modern or avian dinosaurs from comparing it to his ancestors. And in our modern world, humans have started to remember these wonderful giants. Whereas from museums, or by remembering these creatures through art or movies or even the modern versions the avian dinosaurs or through the famous fossils who came actual stories rather than something from old but Or our frozen past with our true dogs. Or a more ancient spring with the Lambiosaurus. Or sea and sky with the Geostone Burger. Or the last timeline. But yet, yeah, dinosaurs are now being displayed around the world in different museums around the world following this incredible short film by Dead Sound, the end of the dinosaur animated series with The Last Tyrant. Humans travel back in time to the era of Acrocanthosaurus. These creatures are in packs looking for food. Where on the fossilized beach where other pterosaurs fly to the sky. An Aquacanthosaurus is looking at a herd of Ankylosauri. So they have to think on what is their plan to hunt them down. And this is Soro Pelta, which is an Ankylosaur with long spikes on their neck in order to defend themselves from carnivores. The Incro is looking into the distance with his pack. Oh, 
Kylosaurus all alone with the Tosaurus. The Acros are behind them. Point of view of Acro Kansas Sword. Camera and the animation that this is what it would have been looked like when Acro Kansas Sword when it was hunting. But the Ankylosaurus started to notice them. And they're starting to attack. With their heads without the tails, but one of them slashed on the head, leading these creatures to fight the Ankylosaur. But we're not too sure if they will experience the pain of these high, tough, armored creatures by swinging their tails with spikes on them. This is what it looks like when they are being attacked on the head. So these creatures have to find a way in order to kill one of them for food and survival. are hunting to get one for protection. They huddle together in one group to create a circle similar to those of penguin in order to stay warm but this is different. This is to defend themselves and swing their tails at the carnivores. These creatures are continuing to defend us. So the pterosaurs are flying and the carnivores leaving them to starve or they could have another pattern about this series is that how can these prehistoric creatures live in our modern world? Well, if it depends on science and technology, hopefully the people will find different ways to bring back the dinosaurs. Well, popular films like Jurassic Park made these animals so iconic and even more scientifically accurate but with several inaccuracies. But, in our modern world, animals started to evolve into mammals. For example, in the United Kingdom, there are several different species of animals. For animals like foxes, deer, and even badgers. But there's also extinct species that live on this planet as well. From wolves, bears, and even 
few European things and also the majestic Ice Age animal, the woolly mammoth. In the Ice Age, animals from different kinds used to live in this British countryside even though people didn't invent in houses these days. That is because prehistoric people started to hunt down woolly mammoths for food and even shelters by building houses out of mammoth tusks and even mammoth bones including their fur. But there is a simple idea that Russian scientists has the idea to bring back these animals back to life and create a prehistoric Jurassic Acid Park themed sanctuary called I think it's called Paleozoic Park. If you are going to bring back dinosaurs then you have to do a lot of scientific research and um, and you could find some amber if you're lucky if you could find dinosaur DNA like in Jurassic Park but you also can bring back dinosaurs through paleo art which is a meaning that about prehistoric wildlife through art like these dinosaur collections of masks that have been made before the series was at SIS at the And during the making of the series I actually made these two masks about one on the left is the Dodo Rex and the T-Rex helmet from Ark Survival of Wolf. Now this is me putting on the T-Rex skull helmet. Of course, I added a string so it can go around my neck and behind my ears to make it more stable. And this is me doing some sort of a performance with the mask by walking around and similar how if I was acting and me smoothing one of my polar bear plushies and looking at it and give a mighty war on the camera to, in order to get into character a bit more if I was acting for one of my films. And I did the same thing on the Dodo Rex, but this one's a bit bigger and it has a huge chin as well with a massive beak and it can breathe fire, well not the mask, it did not actually breathe fire, but in the game, the Dodo Rex is portrayed as a large hybrid dinosaur or with the same body shape as T-Rex except for the head which has a large beak with yellow skin on it and on the top of its head where the carrots and crusts are are actually feathers so that's how dinosaurs became more like bird-like creatures and this is one of the examples of the modern dinosaurs in our world society These are the non-avian dinosaurs like geese, eagles, ducks and more geese, pigeons, swans like Dorlis's black swans, and dinosaurs as well. And last but not least, penguins. They're probably thinking, where are the dinosaurs right now? Here is the answer. Where are the dinosaurs? We are the dinosaurs. When we and idiots again are featured in the leopard seal. Now, our dinosaurs are extinct. Well, during this time, lots of different species of dinosaurs has wiped out due to the impacts of asteroid which makes these animals disappear one species at a time which leaves our dinosaurs extinct well due to the impact of extinction 66 million years ago it was the last day for these remarkable giants well Today, the bones of dinosaurs have been discovered in many new names, showing the remarkable bones of dinosaurs around the world. Well, they're here because a long time ago, these animals had to fight in order to survive 
with at least many dinosaur bodies killed and many different species were wiped out. But we know all of the stories due to scientific effort to, to scientific I'm sorry due to the fossil evidence that the Gulf of Mexico an asteroid was actually hit 66 million years ago so we found multiple ways to remember these remarkable giants of the Mesozoic era
So guys, what kind of film is it? No, it's up there, but can you guess what it is? Well, I guess since I've been here for a while, it's dinosaurs in the modern day. I cannot believe that. Sick. I was right at the wall. Wait, how do you guys... How do you know what kind of film we've always worked on? He guessed it. Again. After only been here for possibly over a year now. But guys, I am thinking about it. Since the Dire Man movie, movie i'm telling you guys this kid has superpowers i think i think it's called common sense hello everyone i hope you enjoy dinosaurs in the modern day we have experienced a lot of different creatures from flying reptiles to land reptiles like the dinosaurs and even marine reptiles and so I've shown a lot of different animations and a lot of different scenes that I filmed at a place called at, at Dawnless Warren. Sorry, I forgot most of the lines, but anyways, I want to give a huge shout out to Tom Traxon Creations for making this happen because I just want to give you a thank you, thank you to Thomas Traxon Creations for letting me use his, his songs based on on songs from different Disney films like Treasure Planet, Brother Bear, Tartars and many more. A thank you to you and as well I'd like to give a huge shout out to Primal Green Screen for most of the green screen effects that I've used throughout the film and other more projects will be coming very very soon and I want to give a huge shout out to the television series Prehistoric Planet for making this inspiration of dinosaurs in the modern day. So I hope you enjoyed Dinosaurs in the Modern Day. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Turn on personal notifications so you never miss a brand new video. And and also coming on October 31st will be the new Halloween special called 3 AM the Halloween Dinosaur. The trailer will be out possibly now or very very soon if it depends and thank you guys so much for making this video possible i hope it will gain more views depending on my channel so um yeah make sure you like comment and subscribe to dinosaurs cheerios and remember welcome to a world of dinosaurs and other prehistoric creatures i'm out